reason we're doing this specific circuit is because this is the circuit we did on the trial initially and now we're doing it 10 weeks later to push them through it, see how far they've come, see how far they've progressed. Look for the finish guys, look for the finish! Nice, nice, nice. Tug of war, yeah. The ultimate Viking challenge of manhood and masculinity. Pull! Go on guys! Going into phase two now is fight camp, all right? So everything steps up a level now. So we're gonna be doing more sparring drills, building up until like the six week point where we'll be doing full on MMA sparring. Got a lower body injury, great. Means you can work on some upper body, yeah? Don't look at your injuries as, um, as a negative, look at them as a positive. If you miss a class and then you're late for a class and then you put weight on at the end of the week, you're gonna have like 200 sprawls to do every Friday before you go home. But being late is a choice, guys. On fight night, you want to be able to tell yourself honestly that you did absolutely everything you could have done to win the fight. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of graft, um, a lot of injuries along the way. It's one of the hardest things I've probably ever done. I do retract my previous days so when I started about being 100% ready in the mind. Mentally in my mind, I'm already there. I'm already a winner in my head. But something again in the heart as well. Well that was kind of a misbelief that thinking it was going to be a lot easier than it is. Anyone who thinks this is easy is very, very wrong. It's been hard going. Unfortunately I ended up with an injury, ended up with broken ribs. So uh, that's been fun to try and cope with. I can't believe the difference in me. Physically I can see it now, but also mentally I just feel stronger and stronger as we go on. I'm finding it really good. I feel more confident about myself. It's hard getting up at half five in the morning to be here for six, but it's once you get in the routine it's really good it makes you like want to go up in the morning to come here it's just the best thing i've ever done i get up at half four every morning it doesn't phase me my sister can't believe it you know i get up and i'm like yeah half five o'clock in the morning my alarm goes off and i'm like right time to go let's go training you know when i first started i would never even seen a five o'clock in the morning you know i seen one five o'clock me and that was tea time do you have a few blips a few doubts you doubt yourself and you just think what am i doing why am i here but the coaches are really good with that and so is the rest of the team. They, um, they're, they're very, very supportive. We are a really close team. Um, over just even the nine weeks, we've got to know each other really, really well. We've supported each other. Got to, and it, that's going to make it harder in phase two when it comes to fighting someone that you're really good friends with. Obviously, we've got to come to fight night and you know, we're all that friends, we have to fight against each other in the end of it. But you know, that's part of the experience, isn't it? The coaches bring us a long way as well. You know, they're always, they're always encouraging us and how well we've done. I feel like they've really changed my life a lot, like the advice they give me and stuff like that. Confidence is definitely up as well. I've learnt more than I thought I possibly could and, and with the like the grappling and the throwing and, and things like that. Um, and I've learnt that everything that they're doing, the coaches, they've really worked hard at it to, to stage, stage up and you can tell how they ramp it up. They cater to what you need. So even though I've been out with a rib injury, They've, they've found something for me to do. I really wasn't expecting to feel this good, mentally this good as well. I mean, people have said some really nice things about me and it's, it's, overwhel it's overwhelming. You feel more like healthy, more like you've got more life in yourself. You, like I say, spend a lot more time with kids now doing more activities and yeah, just enjoying life a lot more as well. My wife's quite impressed with how better toned I am. <laughs> The phase one, you know, it's been a lot more of our posture and strength and getting fit. When we was rolling on the match, you know, we'd probably do about 10 seconds in phase one and we, we was like, we were blowing, we were puffing. You know, we can do a full session of rolling on the mats now and we've, you know, we, we kind of, we're not, we're not blowing as much. I've loved it, every minute of it. And um, I don't know what I'll do when it's all over. Anyone who wants to get into this, I highly recommend it. I've never particularly felt old. And in the past, when I've been quite poorly mentally, it really wears you down and I think this came at the right time and I just embrace it and I just keep going day after day and yeah it makes you feel young but you only, you're only going to get out of this what you put into it. Going into phase two I'm really excited, really excited, nervous, I'm nervous about the cardio side of it but as I say I think they'll phase it so that we build our cardio. Phase two to me is the penultimate bit. It's either dedication or not. Anybody who's watching this and thinks, oh, I'd like to do it, but I'm not really too sure, just do it. Because you know what? Not, not trying out for it, not doing it, and living with the regret of not doing it and thinking, what if? 
that's massive, so just do it. They're in fight camp now. Phase one's done, now we're preparing for a fight, so everything's got to be taken seriously. Taking a step up in every aspect of our approach to the fights. And that's it, looking forward to uh, fight camp.